13 Lives is the newest film directed by the prolific Ron Howard and it's streaming exclusively on Amazon Prime right now. And it stars the likes of Colin Farrell, Viggo Mortensen, and Joel Edgerton, a great trio of leading actors. And this is based on a true story where a rescue mission is assembled in Thailand where a group of young boys and their soccer coach are trapped in a system of underground caves that are flooding. And man, is it a race against the clock, because these caves are flooding fast. Ron Howard is probably one of the most famous directors still working right now in Hollywood. He's made a lot of really great true story films like Apollo 13. I'm very happy to say that 13 Lives is certainly in the upper echelon of his true story movies, if you will. Namely because of how it's crafted. This is probably one of the better looking disaster movies you're ever going to see. The shots that they're able to get underwater just astound me. And I also love how they intersplice little radar clips of where they are in the caves and how long they've been under there. This also really helps to up the urgency of this situation. And I am certainly glad that I sat through this movie at least once because I had no idea this even happened in real life. There were a lot of really brave people involved with this situation and I I'm very, very glad that this movie paid them the proper respect. And keeping in mind, these are real people that we're watching here. Colin Farrell and Viggo Mortensen are the central focus of this. They're playing some volunteers who go into the caves to look for these kids. And I think they do some nice work in here. It's a lot more subdued than we're used to seeing from both of them, especially within the past year by itself. And I think they certainly play off of each other very well, too. Now, Joel Edgerton, for those of you who are big fans of him, I don't want to disappoint you because he's not in this movie as much as you would expect. He's good, but he's not introduced until about the halfway point. And while this movie is extremely, extremely well-crafted with some brilliant cinematography and a great musical score by Benjamin Wallfish, who is someone I praised continuously on here, while I do respect this movie's existence in paying respect to these really brave people, I don't really see myself ever re-watching The 13 Lives ever again. Mainly because this movie is a drag, honestly. Like, the pacing here, I get why this movie is as long as it is at two and a half hours. But especially as you get towards the middle portion of the movie, there are just so many slow spots where it just feels like it's meandering a little bit and not much is going on. At two and a half hours, you could have very easily trimmed 30 minutes off this movie and you probably wouldn't have missed very much. It's a movie that unfortunately overstays its welcome. And even the conflict in this movie of how they're going to approach rescuing these young kids from the cave, it's stuff you've seen in other movies before. So while this movie is typical Ron Howard, you do have some great production values in here. The musical score, as I've mentioned, is absolutely spectacular. The acting in here is extremely subdued and very relaxed, and I'm certainly sitting here glad that I watched this movie at least one time in my life, but it's probably going to be the only time. I'm glad I got to learn a little bit more about this situation, and I'm glad that this movie exists to pay respects to all these brave people. It sadly is not the most engaging movie in the world. Nevertheless, I'm going to give 13 Lives a B. I really respect Ron Howard for taking this project head on. He really knows how to craft a solid, true story disaster like Apollo 13, for example. You know what this movie reminded me more so of was Deep Water Horizon, directed by Peter Berg. That movie, extremely well crafted. I've gone back and rewatched that movie at least once since I saw it in the theater. I don't think 13 Lives is nearly as engaging as Deepwater Horizon, but it's certainly in that same ballpark in terms of quality in the technical department. But let me know what you guys thought of 13 Lives down in the comments section below. What else are you guys going to be streaming this weekend? Obviously, guys, I love making these videos. I love starting the discussion about all new things in movies and TV with you guys. So feel free to continue that discussion as much as you like. If you're a new viewer over here, please do consider smashing that subscribe button along with that notification bell right next to it. That would be insanely, insanely helpful, my friends. Not just to you, but to me. And speaking of, feel free to hit that thumbs up on your way out, too. 
And keep your eyes peeled for more exciting content hitting this channel very, very soon as we wrap up a very hectic summer season over here. I just uploaded my reviews for both Bullet Train and Prey. Those of you who love action movies, you will love, love, love this weekend. And keep your eyes peeled for the first installment in my Hobbit trilogy of reviews. It should be a very, very fun time in the build-up to Rings of Power, continuing that. It's an exciting time to be over here on this channel, folks, but y'all are the best. Thank you all so, so very much again for continuing to support this content. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence.